ladies what is good what is your pop for today how is your day going if it's not going good you know what jesus bless you because every day is not going to be good but you just need to make sure that you're rebuking demons off people because you know when you're doing good the devil will try to attack you with people coming at you because it's demons in them folks okay so you kind of got to rebuke them folks but if you're having a good day, I hope it gets even better, you feel me? But if you have a bad day, I hope it gets better for you because bad days are always the worst. But as you clicked on this video for, I'm going to be giving you guys 10 reasons why your lazy parts might be having a unusual, unpleasant odor. Like, not an odor, but like a, just a... A scent that you're just not really happy with. It's just, it's not really pleasing you. It's just like... Ew, you feel me? It's not really a good scent, okay? It's not a nice smelling scent. So, if you want to know what that smell might be coming from or why you might have that scent down there, then keep on watching this video. The first thing I want to say is, if it's like a fishy, strong, fishy, like, odor, then you might want to go to the doctor's actually because that right there, that means you have, you might have something going on down there and they might have to tell you what's going on and treat it or whatever, like, give you some type of medicine or something. Um, but other than that, like if it's something like a different type of scent, then I feel like you might be in the clear or, um, if your discharge is like a certain color, like a green or, um, you know, just like an unusual color. Cause it should usually be like a vanilla color. Like, um, by vanilla, I do not mean like brown. I mean like a cream color basically. But other than that, you should be in the clear. So, I want to keep it, like, real with y'all on most of my videos. Just because, like, I know a lot of females, they really, really do need help. Like, it's, like I said in my last video, it's really not their fault that they don't really know. Because it happens, and some people just don't have guidance. Some people can't go to their parents about certain stuff. They're just too nervous to go to anybody. Some people just don't have anybody. There's some girls that grew up with just straight boys. Like, they grew up with their dad. They just don't really know what to do. So, that's why I feel like YouTube is so, 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 so cool. Because you can go on here. You can look up something that you might be having a problem with. And it'll be, like, somebody that understands what you're going through. And they're able to, they're able to like, talk you through stuff. And you're able to try new things. Like, the new, the, the new things that they talk about. And then you can go try it. And then, usually, it's 9 times out of 10 like gonna help because they're human too and they have those problems as well and they already been through it so now they know how to deal with it okay so with that being said oh i don't know why i don't know why i keep rambling let's get right on into the video okay so the first reason might be because you're using the wrong soap now a lot of people might be like what you mean like wrong so what is a wrong soap a wrong soap is like a like a soap that has um, like a perfumish, like, not a perfume, but like a strong scent to it. Um, you shouldn't really be using all that, that bubble bath stuff, body wash and stuff like that down there. None of that. You also should not be using Vagisil or Summer's Eve or any of those specific cleansers they use for, you know, the downstairs area. Any of those specific cleansers that are specifically for down there. Those actually are not good for you down there. They actually knock off your pH balance. They say that they help your pH balance, but they really do not. They actually knock it off. Now, you might be like, how is that even possible? Like, why is it in the stores if it's really not, like, gonna help? It's really just gonna knock your pH balance off or harm you. I really do not know what they what they didn't mix up in that lab, but it's not good for you down there. It also can irritate you as well. So, just do not be using them soaps frilled. Use a mild soap. Now, listen, you guys might be like, what is a good mild soap? What is a good soap that I can use down there that actually has, like, a, a nicer scent to it and it's not, like, a bland, just bland soap that has no type of scent. You could use, like, baby soap. That's what I use. I use Johnson Johnson baby soap. They also have baby dove, but I use Johnson Johnson, which is way, 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 way better because I was using the dove for a minute, but now I use Johnson Johnson's, and I believe any Johnson Johnson's will work good for you down there. I really feel like it's just a, it's a fresh cleanser, and it will not irritate you. It's tear-free, so it will not irritate you at all, and you know, it has, sometimes you might just happen to get soap, you know, inside, and that, that's not really good, but with the baby soap, it won't burn, it won't like affect you or anything like that. So it's good just to use the rice soap and the rice soap I just go the baby way because when you go the when you start using baby products, you know that they're like not gonna harm you because they use them on babies. They use them on babies, okay? And I hope they ain't putting no bad stuff in the baby stuff because I really have to have my wounds with John St. Johnson. You messing up babies and stuff? Yeah, no, no, no. That ain't good. All right, y'all. So the second reason, now this might be obvious to some people and it might not be obvious to others. Like, 
it just it just might not be so the second reason is because you might not be using the hot water sis you might not be using hot water and that's not good okay because i feel like well I ain't gonna say it's not good, but I'm just gonna say that's another reason why you might have like a smelly odor down there because hot water actually cleans you, okay? Hot water is actually gonna get you to what you wanna smell like, okay? Like if you're in the shower, you have some type of problems, you are and you're using the soap, you're using the white soap, this and this and that, then girl, you might not be using the hot hot water, okay? You have to use hot water. That's why they be like, oh my gosh, why do females be in that hot hot water? It's because we have certain areas that need to be actually clean, okay? That's why you know most females take hot hot showers. So if you're a male and you're watching this, which I don't really know why, um, but if you're watching this and you're a male, I know males would like to wonder why females be taking hot hot showers. First of all, because it's relaxing. Second of all, because it makes you smell better and you actually get clean, okay? Okay. All right, so the third reason, now this is a really big reason, like, this, this is, like, actually true, okay? The third reason why it might be smelly down there, because, you know, when you get at the shower, you might be fresh or whatever, but then when you, by the end of the day, you, like, or in the middle of the day, any sometime in the day, you, like, whoa, hold up, mm-mm, that... That don't smell like when I first got out the shower, okay? It could be it could be because you were wearing too tight of clothing or too tight of underwear, okay? You could have some underwear that actually fit, but if you throw on them tight, tight jeans and you're wearing them 24-7, like you could wear a pair of tight jeans one day, but do not wear tight clothing every single day because once you do that, or tight underwear, because once you start to do that, you're just, you're not letting your stuff breathe. You're not, it's not able to breathe. It's not able to stay fresh because how? It's not breathing. It's not open. It's just, it's just, it's just locked down. And it's like when you're sweating, it's staying in there. It's just staying like, okay, so it's not, oh, my hands are like booty fingers. Okay. But like, they're really just like, they're, they're, they're really just like, what? There's only one private area, but um, it's really just like, you know, just sitting there you know, holding in a bunch of stuff. I don't really know. But that's another reason, okay? It's because you, you be wearing some two side of clothing. If that's not true, then you have to keep listening. If these tips you already know and you're already following these rules, then you just got to keep listening because you might just find something in here that actually is a reason, okay? You see, it might be a reason. All right, so the fourth reason is because you might have too much moisture down there, okay? So when I say this, I'm serious. When you get out the shower... Make sure that your downstairs area is actually not, I don't want to say like super, super dry to the point where it's like fully dry. But make sure it's not too much moisture down there. You can't, you can't just throw on a pair of underwear and then put on your pants or whatever when it's still wet from the shower. You can't do it. Because once you do that, it's just going to sit in there as well. And if that water, you know when you let water sit in certain places and you let it sit and it just, it's not able to like evaporate. So like, what? What was I talking about? Oh yeah, so like do not let no dang water when you get out from like a um when you get out from like the pool or something, this and this and that, make sure that you're actually drying out there. Get on there and dry out your dry it out because if you have too much moisture down there, that will actually really cause like legit odors. Okay, it'll really legit cause odors. And it could also cause an infection. So that's another reason. No, that's another reason. I forgot to tell y'all that. That can cause an infection because, you know, you're not supposed to be having a bunch of water down there. No, 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 no. Okay, sis, the only... Oh, why am I cherry going to scoop back like that? But, um, yeah, just, just, just make sure it ain't all too wet right there when you put on your clothes and all that, okay? All right, so the fifth reason is panty liners, okay? Y'all might be like, what you mean, panty liners? What you mean? What are them affecting me for? I mean, they're not really making your actual crotch smell like actually like even when you're done taking a shower it'll be fresh and stuff like that it'll be fresh all up until you put that pain liner on and you get to walking all through the day and your stuff is not really able to breathe and it creates an odor it really does it creates like a um an odor that's really not coming from you it's just coming from you know it not being able to breathe it's just rubbing up against the pain liner all day it's just it's just when i tell you it just creates a a smell that's not even coming from you it but it actually gives you a smell just cut out the painting liners like honestly when you cut out the painting liners i feel like you'll be you'll be you'll be you'll be better off because those boys right there i only wear them if i'm wearing like on my period when i'm wearing like a tampon or whatever but other than that you don't need to be having them every single day for real for real. you do not need to be having that every single day just now i used to wear them every single day for years okay but they not really 
they don't really keep you fresh okay all right so the sixth reason is from not shaving now i have nothing against females that don't shave because you know not every female you know wants to shave not every female like has the time to be shaving all the time they just don't really want to i don't really know but if you have or from not waxing anything like that but from having hair down there is the reason why they might be older because hair holds germs okay so when germs you know are staying down there you know and sweat and stuff like that the sweat mo molecules and stuff like that are just all up on you know your downstairs area hairs okay that right there can cause odors now you might not believe me but if you go shave and you are still following these rules that i'm staying right here i feel like you'll be with these straight you just have to listen a little bit to my to my advice and just go on what you say okay because once you listen to my advice i'm telling you these are the things that help me these are the things that have helped other females as well all right so the seventh thing now y'all might be like this is the dumbest thing you could ever say in a whole entire video but it might be because you're not really cleaning yourself thoroughly. Now, when you when I say thoroughly, I mean you have to have your soap, you have to have your hot water, you have to have your leg propped up, you have to actually be cleaning yourself. And when I say this, okay, a lot of females like to say, oh no, but it it cleans its own self. I just use water. I'm sorry, y'all. The angle just totally changed. Um everything just fell okay everything just fell so the whole angle just changed but but what i was saying was when people tell me that they just be using water when i watch a video and they just be like no i'll just use water i'd be like um okay um not sure how that works but you are supposed to use a mild soap you are supposed to actually clean yourself you are that's how you're gonna stay fresh you're not really cleaning your sweat if you're just using water that right there is the next level i don't know about none of that but um if it works for you, it works for you. So, what I mean by thoroughly is using soap and, you know, using the hot water. And the next reason relates to the thoroughly part. So, the next reason is might be because you're not using a washcloth. Now, you're not supposed to be using a loofah. You're not supposed to be just using your hands. You are actually supposed to use a white washcloth. Now, the reason I say white washcloth is because washcloths get dyed okay so when you have a washcloth and it's a different color it's been dyed and you don't want any dyed um you, you don't want any dye down there because you know dye has a lot of chemicals and you don't want any chemicals down there because you know chemicals can irritate you they can give you an infection they can um knock off your ph balance it's just not good to have any type of chemicals down there so you know dye carries a lot of chemicals so use a white washcloth it might be because you're not using a washcloth and a washcloth is the only thing that's really going to get you actually thoroughly clean so what I mean by thoroughly and using a washcloth, you want to get your washcloth, get a bunch of soap, get hot water, pop your leg up, and get down there and do what you gotta do, okay? Okay, love? Okay. Alright, so the ninth reason, the ninth reason why your low area might be is because, listen, it's because you might not be drinking enough water. Now, this is straight facts, okay? This is really facts because... You have to drink water in order for your body to stay fully, like, cleansed out in the inside, okay? You have to drink a lot of water because if you just drink it a bunch of soda, I mean, I don't really say soda. I don't know why I'm about to say. I don't know why. I say pop, okay? If you drink it a bunch of pop, a bunch of soda, whatever you want to call it, if you drink it a bunch of juice, drink it a bunch of sugary drinks, that is not going to help you, okay? Whatever you insert into your body... It's gonna it's gonna come out some type of way, okay? So when you have when you eat or whatever is gonna come out your booty, okay? But then scents are going to come from downstairs, okay? Because it's very, really sensitive. It's really, really sensitive. And you have to be careful with what you put into your body. Now, with that being said, the tenth reason is because you might not be eating enough fruits and veggies. Now, I didn't really believe this at first until I really tried it and I started eating a bunch of fruit and I started eating more veggies, but I started eating a lot, a lot of fruit, okay? And I started, drinking, I started eating like oranges and strawberries and grapes and, you know, stuff like that. All fruits, all fruits, like all fruits, kiwis, um, pineapples, um, did I say grapes already? Yeah, apples, all fruits, okay? All fruits are really, really good for you to be eating. Raspberries, I'm just going to keep going. I don't need to stop. But all fruits are good for you to be consuming. In your body because 
God put them here for a reason, okay? He, he gave us certain things to eat. Now, the things that make us smell some type of way and they knock off and they, and they mess with our hormones are the things that man like to put into stuff, okay? But what he gave us is the most natural stuff and the stuff that, you know, is actually going to... It's actually going to help us and going to keep us, and it's going to give us our nutrients. I don't know why I keep, like, stopping. I don't know why, because the words are just not coming to me. But that's what's going to give us our nutrients. That's that's what's going to keep everything right. That's, what it, that's what's going to keep everything smelling good. And, yeah, and the only reason some meats might be making you smell some certain, certain type of way is because the hormones that are in it, they're inserting stuff into them. So you kind of want to make sure that you're getting... Um, which, you know, I don't, we don't also, we don't really make sure of that, but I definitely need to start, um, telling my mom or asking my mom to get like grass fed stuff. So I also suggest getting grass fed meat. So don't, I don't eat pork personally because in the Bible you're not, it says you're not supposed to eat pork. Pork is, is disgusting. Pigs literally eat dead bodies and eat nasty, nasty stuff. So you're not supposed to consume pork, but beef is okay and chicken and stuff like that. So you want to make sure that when you're going to buy I don't really make sure of this either, but I'm just saying it's a tip, okay? It's just an extra tip. When you're going to buy, like, meat or whatever, there are certain meats that are actually, they tell you that they're grass-fed. So it has no nasty hormones or anything like that because you never know what they're putting in your meat. So just look at the stuff and see if it's grass-fed. And if it's grass-fed, it's better for you to pick up. Grass-fed stuff is also more expensive, but it's worth it. It's going to be way worth it in the end because, you know, Hygiene is more important and stuff like that. But if you can't afford that, what I'm telling you, like the rest of the stuff that's in this video right now, is I'm telling you, that's what's really gonna help you. Like the meat, I wouldn't so so much focus on, but that is also an extra tip. But other than that, you're really gonna be good after these um, reasons that I just gave you. Why your lady parts might be a little, might be a little tangy, okay, tangy. I'm about to drink my water. Clover. Oh my gosh, I just got water all over my stove. Clover Valley, Dollar General, you feel me? But y'all, I'm finna hit about this boy. I really, 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 really hope that you got something out of this video because if you didn't, just say no. I'm just playing. But y'all, for real, on a real, on a real, on a real topic, please make sure to hit that subscribe button hit that like button hit that bell button next to that subscribe button so you can get a notification every single time i post a video and go ahead and comment and i want to thank you for viewing this video okay thank you you are a real og if you made it to the end of this video you are literally a real og i really want to say what's up okay just gave you a little little handshake you want to do it again because i know you probably didn't catch that okay but there you go God bless you, okay? Jesus loves you, okay? Jesus died on the cross for your sins. Jesus died on the cross for your sins. Forgive him. <clears throat> Give him your praise, okay? Because he definitely deserves it, okay? Bye.